ready to open the hood, use tool for the tutorials, and for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. For this operation, get hold of the air filter that you will find in the video description. Turn your engine off. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Take off the engine cover. You should now be able to easily see the airbox to change the filter. You must now remove the turbo air inlet conduit. To do this, first release the two clamping clips using a medium-sized flathead screwdriver. At the center of this conduit, there's also a connection that must be undone. To do this, pull the white plastic holding spurs upwards and then disconnect the conduit on both sides in order to remove it. Using a socket wrench, an extender and an 8mm socket, unscrew the three holding screws on the airflow meter connector, then remove it. Unplug the electric connector on the airflow meter. Take off the upper air inlet duct by separating it from the lower part. Then pivot it anti-clockwise and pull towards you before releasing the other end. Unclip the primer pump and pivot it so it doesn't get in the way during the next steps of the process. Remove the three screws on the air filter flange with a Torx 25 screwdriver. Then take off the flange, inclining it upwards and pulling it towards you. To take off the air filter, take it out of the compartment. Slide it onto the right where there is more space. Before putting the new one, it is important to clean off the remaining impurities from inside the filter compartment. Please support us. Subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool. Take the new filter and compare it with the old one to ensure that they're identical. Put the filter back in place. Ensure that the rubber washer goes into the right place. This will help you put the flange back on more easily. Apply the same technique to fix the air filter flange, then screw in the three torque screws. Reattach the second part of the air inlet conduit. Reconnect it to the lower part. Screw the airflow meter connector back in. Tip. Take a piece of paper towel. Lay it flat on the socket, then insert the head of the nut, forcing it into the socket. Magic! It holds all by itself. Reconnect the electric connector on the airflow meter.
put the turbo air supply conduit in place, reclip the part which goes into the cylinder head cover and tighten both of the clamping clips with a flathead screwdriver. Put the primer pump back in place. Finally, put the engine cover back in place. Operation completed. Hello, if this video helps you, like and subscribe.